Hello and welcome to this Dr Frost video on expanding two brackets in the form AX brackets BX plus C brackets DX plus E. So we want to expand and simplify this expression. Now there's more than one way of doing this. We're multiplying three things together here. We're doing the 5X multiplied by the 3X plus 4 multiplied by the X minus 4. Now when we multiply three things together, let's just say I had 2 times 3 times 4. You can multiply the 3 times 4 first, get 12, and then times it by 2. Or you can multiply the 2 by 3 first, so that's 6, and then times it by 4. It doesn't really matter. So I could do the 5x times this, or I could do these two brackets first. Now, it really doesn't matter, but I'm just going to multiply these two brackets together first, and then we're going to times it by the 5x. So. With these two brackets multiplied out, I'm going to need a bracket here because this bracket is subsequently going to be multiplied by the 5x. But let's just expand this out. We do each thing in the first bracket times each thing in the second. So the 3x times each of the things in the second bracket, 3x times x is 3x squared. Then we do the 3x times the second thing. So 3x times minus 4 is minus 12x. Then we do the second thing, the 4 times each of the things in the second bracket. So the 4 times the x is 4x plus 4x. And the 4 times minus 4 is minus 16. And then we can just tidy up. We're going to collect like terms inside that bracket. So we've only got 1x squared term, so that just stays as 3x squared. But we've got minus 12x plus 4x. So we can collect those two terms together. Minus 12 plus 4 is minus 8, so it's minus 8 lots of x. And finally, we've got the minus 16. So we've now multiplied out these two brackets to just get one big bracket. And then that is going to be multiplied by the 5x on the front. So now we've got a single bracket expansion. We do the 5x times each of the things inside that bracket. So we do the 5x times the 3x squared, which is 15. Well, x times x squared is x cubed. We've got the 5x times the minus 8x. Well, 5 times minus 8 is minus 40. x times x is x squared. And finally, we've got the 5x times the minus 16. That's going to be minus 80x. And that is the final answer.